Hello everybody and welcome back to Taylor Bryant Master Tech. Today we are going to be talking about air conditioning. The reason why is in my um, area it's getting warmer so and I'm starting to teach air conditioning so this is what we are going to do today is what we call an AC performance check. Okay so this is going to tell you the complete health of the AC system and give you a little bit of a hint of where to go from uh, here if there's a problem with your air conditioning. So let's get started. Okay, a couple things we're going to need. We are going to need a just a very basic thermometer. Uh, sometimes you can get these are you know meat thermometers, and uh, you don't need an electric one. Just a very basic one. And we're going to need some way to tell the pressures in the system. So either a gauge set or what I'm going to be using actually is this monster here. Now I know not everybody has one of these, but um, they are nice to have. So we're going to be using this. It's a little bit easier to read the gauges on video. Also, we are going to need a source of airflow. This isn't 100% necessary, but what we're trying to do is get the lowest vent temperature that we can possibly get. So this is going to help us by cooling off the condenser and getting us the lowest temperature we can get. We're also going to need to know the ambient temperature, what temperature it is where we're testing, and we can use our thermometer that we got for that. So we need to record our ambient temperature, which looks like, let's see. Looks like it's about a little less than 80 degrees and we're ready to get started. Okay, so uh, I have hooked up the AC machine here to this uh, car that I'm working with. It's a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta GLI with the 2 liter engine. It's 134A and if you ever have uh, a question about what refrigerant is in the car you can either of course look it up or a lot of times you will see there will be a refrigerant sticker here and it says of course 134a pag oil and also gives you the capacity but so i've got my high side and my low side hooked up on this car they are right here and if you notice the low side will be uh, the smaller fitting but the larger diameter line the high side will be the bigger fitting and the smaller diameter line and we'll talk about that a little bit later in another lesson, but we hook these up, go ahead and screw them in. And what I'm wanting to see is the resting pressure here. So the resting pressure is, I always check on the low side here, it's about 80, what, three or so. And so I'm wanting to check this with my chart. And this is why I need to know the temperature that I'm dealing with. I just printed this chart out here. It's very hard to see. Uh, but if you just look up um, 134A refrigerant temperature chart, uh, they're, they're all over the internet. So in this chart at around 80 degrees, I should be about 86.8 PSI resting. And we're a little bit low uh, of 80 degrees. So we're about right on our resting pressures for um, 134A. You can see here we're a little bit lower than 80 degrees and we're a little bit lower than that 86 so we seem good to go and we can go ahead and start the test so if this was dramatically higher or dramatically lower uh, humidity can change it a little bit but if it's dramatically higher or lower I'm going to want to um, pull the system down evacuate the system and see how much refrigerant I have in there and if it's too high or too low, I'm going to fill back up with the correct amount and continue my test. So first thing we're going to need is a little airflow. I'm going to turn this fan on and then I'm going to meet you on the inside of the car and show you what we're going to do there. Okay, we are in the car now and I have the AC set to, I want to go I want to put the recirculate on again we're looking for the coldest temperature we can possibly get and I want it to come out at the vents okay and I also want the blower motor set on the lowest setting so that's the first speed right here and of course I want my temperature all the way down to 
low on both sides okay so now that we have that set what I'm going to do is I want to find the coldest vent that is normally going to be especially on this car right here since the evaporator is right behind the dash right behind one of these vents that's where I'm going to want to take my temperature so I'm going to stick this in my vent here and I'm going to give it a little time I also want to roll the windows up because we're trying to recirculate all that air and we're trying to get this down to the coldest we possibly can uh, since the the temperature outside is near 80 degrees ideally we're gonna want this in the 40s lower 40s but we're gonna see how this goes and I'm gonna show y'all some some gauges right now to the AC machine and we can show you pretty much how uh, our gauges should look okay so here are the gauges here you see our high side we are at about a hundred and fifty maybe a little bit less on our low side we are at about 30 and I can show you what the airflow is doing here if we turn this fan off you'll see these pressures these pressures will actually go up a little bit the car may compensate and the fans may come on or something like that but a lot of times when you turn this off you'll see those pressures start to creep up just a little bit so I'm wanting to turn the fan back on starting to see those pressures starting to fall just a little bit with that airflow so what we are doing is we are simulating a drive down the road the only thing that we don't have is the added rpm if I would put my foot on the gas about 1500 rpm or so you would see these pressures change a little bit you would see the temperature most likely go down in the car so let's check our temperature and see what it is okay so looks like we're approaching right at 40 degrees the glare is right on top of the 40 but you can see that that is telling me that this air conditioning is working properly okay so if you have a customer come in and they're complaining about the air conditioning uh, or something like that then then you definitely need to take a ride with them and see what's going on because this to me is a no problem uh, found you know vehicle operating to manufacturer specifications so uh, here in a minute we'll talk about if this goes bad what we're gonna do okay so if we see any issues with this if the temperature is just not right if it's you know 60 degrees 70 degrees and you know it should be down into the 40s and 50s then obviously we have a problem the first thing I'm going to do is do a visual inspection of the car which really should be done before this happens anyway to make sure I don't see any any oddities uh, make sure the compressor is coming on make sure that you're uh, compressor is using the correct refrigerant you may want to identify the refrigerant make sure you don't have any crazy refrigerant in there also I want to check the cleanliness of my condenser uh, even my uh, cabin filter I want to make sure that I'm getting the correct airflow past the evaporator to give us that correct airflow through the dash and uh, of course always going to check for worn components leaks anything like that so if anything's off and my gauge readings are off if they're you know too high or too low or the compressor cycling that's why I'm gonna want to go deeper I want to go get more diagnostic time to look at this vehicle um, and kind of go from there uh, so I hope you learned something from this video if you did just like and subscribe and uh, I'm gonna be putting out some more videos about air conditioning here soon so uh, stay tuned and I'll see you next time